if you want to be a writer, you've got to read a lot um, and read the kind of things that you love. Don't read things that you think are good, that people tell you are good for you. Yeah, so read the stuff that, that, that excites you. And, and when you're, if you want to be a writer, I think the important thing is to, you've got to write stuff that you feel passionate about, the stuff that kind of comes from deep within you. Don't think, oh, psychological thrillers are popular, so I'll try and write a psychological thriller or, 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 any, or any genre. And when you do kind of find the kind of stories that you want to tell, if you want to be published, you've got to be very clear about exactly where you fit. So you need to know which authors you're like, which, which kind of books you would sit alongside on the bookshelf. You can't say, oh, my book's a little bit this or a little bit that, or it's a little a hybrid of three completely weird, disconnected things. You've got to have a kind of a strong commercial idea of where you sit in the market if you want to be able to find an agent and then find a publisher. And I think that's what kind of held me back for a long time is that I didn't have that clear vision of exactly the kind of, like my, what my brand was and people hate talking about themselves as brands but you kind of sometimes you do have to think like that to know exactly what kind of books you're writing if you're just writing for a hobby or for pleasure or whatever it doesn't matter but if you want to write as a career then you, you do have to know that kind of stuff so yeah that's my that's the kind of thing I always say to aspiring writers is well where do you fit can you describe your book in a sentence or two? Um, and you've got to have that real clarity of vision of, about yourself and your books.